Welcome back. Life is fragile, something we usually take for granted as a young person. Former Bossier basketball star Kalis Roots no longer can take it for granted. Brad Cisak explains. March 28th was supposed to be just another Thursday for Kalis Roots. The Bossier senior had just wrapped up his final season with the Bearcats and was prepping for that weekend's I-20 All-Star game. Man, this is just this is a... Uh, excellent opportunity for me and my fellows out here. But that opportunity would never come. That night, Roots was involved in a head-on collision that nearly cost him his life. What is the last thing you remember that day? Uh, the practice that I went to uh, for the All-Star game. He was rushed to the hospital where he was sedated due to a brain bleed. Where am I? Why, why do I have a, a cast on my left arm? Why can't I move? Just. I didn't know where I was. You know, just to wake up and not know exactly where you are or why you're there, it's, it's hard. Roots had to start all over, having to relearn how to walk. It's a grind. It's something that you have to uh, commit to. You have to practice every day. The Bearcat would show improvements and was transferred to a rehab hospital in New Orleans. But the road ahead would be a struggle. Once you're not able to move, you were questioning everything. I mean. Could I be able to do anything? Could I be able to cut the grass? Could I be able to take the trash out? Kayla started checking off milestones, including walking at Bozier's graduation ceremony, but his basketball career was still in doubt. And basketball was different, just something that I didn't think I was going to be able to do anyway. On June 5th, those doubts went away. Roots signed a scholarship with the LSUA Generals, who stuck with him through the accident. It was <laughs> just... I can't even describe it. It was something that I didn't didn't think was going to happen at all. And the fact that it still happened, there's Coach Guerrero and there's the paper, and he has the jersey. It was, man, it was something completely God-given. He still has a while to go before he's able to get back on the court. But regardless of how his basketball career turns out, Root says every moment is now a blessing. I mean, it's completely a God's gift to know that I could have walked out of the car accident with my arm cut off, uh, my head cut off, anything, and I'm still here. I got all to my fingers, all to my toes. I can still walk. I can still talk. It's nothing that can, um, end up. nothing that can really make a bad day for me. Reporting in Bossier, I'm Brad Cisak.